Hello YouTube, Ready Reptiles here with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can get your baby tortoises and adult tortoises getting used to eating hay. Uh, the introduction methods, what I use, and how I did it. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get started. All right guys, so as you guys notice, we are here with group number one. There is Goobs, there is Gabs, here is Gaia, and we've got Daisy. As you guys notice, they are enjoying a nice fresh pile of Timothy hay that I've laid down as a base. And I also sprinkled in some yellow squash and zucchini today just to kind of spice up and give them a nice little variety and a little bit of produce for today. Uh, now, the reason why I'm making this clip is because I wanted to explain one of the methods that I use for my adult tortoises. Obviously, my animals all eat hay on their own. I do not have to incorporate produce whatsoever for them to eat it. But in the case that when they didn't eat it or if you have an animal that's kind of being a little bit more stubborn and refusing to eat the hay on its own right away, what I would do is I would lay down the hay of choice. Uh, in this case, for a grass and species, the most recommended hay would be either timothy or orchard grass which is a lot better uh, i would stay away from things like alfalfa just because it has too much protein and we do not want to feed that for your socata tortoises or other grassland species so you lay down the hay as a base and you sprinkle in some of their favorite produce in this case today i did yellow squash and zucchini uh, you can do different lettuces and different vegetables that are healthy and obviously safe for the tortoises so when you sprinkle it in uh if you guys notice goobs right here just got a piece of the squash he's also getting some of the hay in his mouth as well so for an animal that didn't enjoy the hay at first uh, slowly they would kind of develop an acquired taste for it and then eventually you can feed it as a staple they'll understand what it is and they'll begin to enjoy this so you can use the same method for baby tortoises as well but in the next clips I'll also show you how I would do it differently for the babies as well just because it makes it a little bit easier for them to eat so as you guys see there is Daisy enjoying some of the squash and the hay together same with Goobs and Gaia and we got gaps back there. So what I'll do is I'll incorporate some of my little B-roll shots. You guys can see them eating and enjoying it. And then we'll also do some clips with group number two and I'll show you guys how to feed the babies. So before I show you group number two and how I would also feed them uh, this kind of uh, tub full of produces that I would incorporate into the Timothy hay, uh, I just wanted to kind of give a little briefing and explain something that's very important to consider as well. When doing this, you want to give vegetables that are obviously beneficial for the animal. Uh, we don't want to provide anything that's going to be harmful for them or that's going to cause them any damage in the future, such as, you know, digestive issues or health issues as well. I wouldn't give uh, fruit at all. Obviously, we know that's not good for sulcata tortoises, uh, and if you do give it, it's going to be in moderation and in my case in my opinion i only like to provide watermelon cantaloupe or honeydew as a source of hydration uh, we do not want to give for example like strawberries things that can get mushy with the hay uh, because if you notice um, once they finish all the produce all that's left is the hay and you want to let it there and leave it so it preserves so in today's thing like you guys saw i offered uh, yellow squash and zucchini for group number one group number two is going to get some romaine lettuce uh, as well with the zucchini and the yellow squash just because i kind of ran out because i gave the most of it to them so uh, that's something to consider just kind of think in mind uh, it's best to offer things that aren't gonna you know soil or uh, spoil the actual hay because you want them to eat it right after and as you guys notice that's exactly what they're doing so let's get started with that all right guys so we are here with group number two this is cuatro the main male we've got indigo violet Tavernier back there. We've got some other females that I have not yet named. So if you want to leave some name suggestions down below, feel free to do so. Uh, as you guys can see, they're enjoying the Timothy hay with the produce that I showed you guys in the previous clip. Uh, it's very important to understand that variety is also key when feeding your tortoises. So we also want to spice up their diet as much as possible. So remember not to feed the same produces every time you do feed. Kind of change it up. Give them something that they aren't expecting. You can give them the element of surprise and that does wonders for them. It's a form of enrichment as well. So as you guys notice, they're munching on all these veggies they're going to start to eat the timothy hay once they are finished and of course in good fashion in the name of this video uh you guys see once they take bites of the vegetables they're also taking bites of the hay and eventually if these animals weren't habituated to the hay uh, they would develop a taste for it and get used to it so i wanted to share this little clip with you guys in the next clip you'll see me feed the baby tortoises and how i would do it differently <music> All right. 
right, so we are here with the baby radiant tortoises. I have four of them inside this little girl tub. As you guys see, I've placed down a fresh pile of green leaf lettuce, and on top of it, I've sprinkled a little bit of the Timothy hay. Uh, usually, I do this with the Timothy or the orchard grass, and it's not something that I offer all the time, but I should start incorporating it into their diet as soon as possible so that these guys can start to eat it. So, as we notice, we've got the lettuce here. Uh, if the tortoise were to grab a little bite, let's say around here, they would also get a little bit of the hay. So, eventually, and slowly, like I explained previously, they will develop an acquired taste. Now, the reason why I don't put the hay as a pile and the lettuce on top, uh, because the babies will just eat the lettuce and then they'll leave the hay uh, as an excess. So we use the hay as the base and then slowly, these little guys will start to enjoy uh, the taste of it and they'll start to develop, uh, you know, a little flavor for it. And, you know, it's obviously super beneficial for them. It's high in fiber. It's what grassland species require. And that's what's super important to understand. So here we got the radiated tortoises. I'll be making some videos on these guys as well here soon. We've got my little cockatiels that are excited to see me. Uh, so I just thought I would show you guys this little clip and what I would do differently for the babies. So I hope you guys learned something new. You guys kind of got a new idea on how to incorporate hay into your grassland species diet. Uh, remember, hay is super important. It's a vital part. It should make up around 80% of their diet. Uh, and it's one of the most uh, important things for them because it is highest in fiber and it is what their digestive system really requires. And as far as nutrients, it's very important as well. So uh, along with that, you want to incorporate your vegetables, your different uh, fruits as treats. Obviously, you got your prepared diets like Missouri and things like that. Notice right behind me, they finished all the produce and they're gonna start eating the hay as well. So I leave this here uh, throughout the entire day and either in the morning uh, tomorrow, I'll rake it up uh, if it's not spoiled because uh, if you do leave the hay out for too long uh, with the humidity and obviously different elements and stuff like that, it can get moldy and we do not want our tortoises ingesting that. So uh, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, rate, comment, likes, and see my fellow herpers. For more content like this, subscribe to me here on YouTube. Also check me out on TikTok and at instagram at ready reptiles where i post daily videos every day uh, and if you guys want to see more videos comment down below what you guys want to see things that you want to learn and things you want me to teach you so hope you guys enjoyed once again and thanks for watching